At CCPL, one of the things that we strive to do is to develop partnerships with organizations, businesses, and agencies. We recently partnered with the Chesterfield County Sheriff's Office. We are printing for them on our 3D printer gun barrels so that their recruits can train and learn to use guns safely. What we're going to do is put a training barrel in and make the weapon safe. This is the first class of recruits to use the 3D printed training gun barrel. The barrels the Sheriff's Department used to use were discontinued, leaving the department with few options. I had found out one of the local retailers offered 3D printing, so I went to that local retailer, only to find out that I would have to have the information, the schematics of what we needed, and I found out that they would have to be sent to Texas uh, they will have to be created in Texas, shipped back. Then I will have to test them to see if they worked. And if they didn't work, I'll have to, again, send them back and tell them what needed to be corrected, which would have been a very tough challenge. It was about that time that Deputy McWilliams learned that right across the street from the Sheriff's Department, he could get access to a 3D printer for free, courtesy of the Chesterfield County Public Library. We were able to come over. I was able to talk to the technician, Ben, and he made uh, one or two training barrels for me. We tried them out. The first one or two didn't work. We made some adjustments. The second one was almost there, but not quite there. And we made a final adjustment and then we got a perfect product. So it works great. The barrel is critical to training. Recruits, some who are learning to use a firearm for the first time, learn to safely work with their weapon. We teach them how to clean the weapon, which requires you to break the weapon down. Uh, when you break the weapon down, um, of course you have multiple parts. One of those parts is a barrel, which is what the projectile comes out of when they pull the trigger. This training barrel replaces that metal barrel. So if you take the metal barrel out of the equation and you put the training barrel in there, again, there's no way the weapon can be fired. Uh, it allows the recruits to practice the action of the weapon without, again, without having to accidentally discharge. The recruits spend about 32 to 40 hours getting used to this gun barrel. And after that, they're out here at the shooting range where they get live round experience on how to use a weapon properly. You think that we have X number of recruits and they're at the firing range and they're online and a lot of them have never held the weapon before. Uh, this training barrel allows them to hold a weapon, standing next to someone that maybe has held a weapon before, um, but it makes it, the line safe for everyone so no one actually gets, accidentally gets shot, um, no accidental discharges. The weapon is now inert. I'm very grateful that the 3D printers were here and that everybody at the library was, were great with dealing with me with getting this done. I made a few trips over and whenever I asked for Ben, he, uh, he, was, he was there. Um, it worked out great.